Hey, subscribers, welcome back to Pro Carrier Trucker. Uh, if you can tell, I'm walking down the hallway at the motel. I had planned on unloading the day in Carrollton, Texas. Heading back, I would have made, I don't know, Muskogee, Oklahoma, maybe Big Cabin, Oklahoma. But, uh, due to a snafu at the receiver, as you can see, I'm in a motel tonight. And I'll be in a motel tomorrow night. And I'll be in a motel the next night. I don't know if I get a view out the window here or not, but eh, not very good. Um, said I was supposed to deliver today. Uh, got there at 12.30. They had a window. It's marked from 9 to 2, but they actually start taking loads at 6 a.m. But their window's until 2 p.m. I got there about 12.30. Uh, about an hour later, dispatch calls and says, hey, are you being held up? I'm like, yeah. Checked in at 12.30 and I'm still waiting, but, uh, he goes, well, I just got an email. Their silo's full. It's going to be at least three hours. I'm like, oh, great. I got to look at my hours and I'm like, okay, three hours before I start unloading two hour unload uh, not looking good at my time to get anywhere be able to get to the motel without running out of hours so I told him what was going on he said he'd he'd do some checking he emailed who he had to email give the information well at about 3.30 receiver comes out Hands me my paperwork and my sample and says, um, come back Thursday. I'm like, huh? He's like, yep, come back Thursday. So I'm guessing they're not using much flour that they can't take it tomorrow. Because that's what I was expecting. I was expecting to be told to come back tomorrow. But he said Thursday, so... It is Monday. Be in the motel tonight, Tuesday. Be in the motel Tuesday night. Be in the motel Wednesday night. I'll go unload. Hopefully. I'm pretty sure they'll take it by then. Obviously, they'll be low enough by then. Uh, unload Thursday and head back. I'll be home Friday. So, looks like I will be spending New Year's in Fort Worth, Texas. Unless... Unless something changes, uh, this shipper or this receiver is real, real, real picky on seals. And we got an item on our truck called a blower, which is, which pumps, basically pumps air into the tank and pressurizes the tank so we can unload. And then it uh, forces air down through the bottom line to help push the product out. But, uh, that blower has to be sealed with a shipper seal. So when I picked this load up, I got the seal, I put it on my blower and cinched it tight. So if that blower seal, which is written on the bill of lading, uh, it's not written there, it's, it's uh, printed on it when they print out the paperwork. If that blower seal is not on there and listed on the paperwork, the load gets rejected. So... Now that this blower seal is on my blower and cannot be taken, cannot be broken without, once you break it, you can't reuse it. My truck is a truck that has to deliver that load. So, kind of between a rock and a hard place on getting anybody else to deliver it. But, yeah, if I'm going to hang out, at least I'm in Texas. So, not the greatest thing. I would have liked to have been home for New Year's. But, uh... I guess if I'm going to hang out, this is the only place I'd somewhat agree to do it. Uh, I appreciate you watching, and uh, we we might do a video later, and we might do a video tomorrow on something, and 
see what we can scrounge up for the new year appreciate you watching hit that thumbs up if you ain't done so subscribe and we will catch you on the next video